This week on Battle of the Ports, we are taking a look at Data East's Fighters History Dynamite, the sequel to the infamous game that Capcom tried to sue Data East over by claiming it was a blatant copy of Street Fighter 2. Known as Karnov's Revenge in the West, Fighters History Dynamite hit the arcades on March 17th, 1994. Unlike its predecessor, Dynamite utilizes a 4 button control scheme instead of 6 buttons due to it running on Neo Geo hardware. It mostly refines the gameplay from the first game, with movements being much smoother and putting more focus on combos. Much like in the first game, each character has a piece of clothing, which works as a weak spot, causing the character to go dizzy if it is hit 3 times during a round. All returnable characters have new moves, and Clown and Karnov are now selectable characters, while the game also introduces two newcomers, Zazzy and Yumei. In total, that's 13 characters to choose from. In addition to those, the game also features a secret fight against an ox, in reference to Data East's early fighter, Karate Champ. I should also mention that there was a Super Famicom only release called Fighters History Mizuguchi's Kiki Ipatsu. It's said to be based upon Dynamite, but in reality, it's basically the first game with Dynamite's moveset. So, I've left it out of this video. Next up is the first port, which went to the Neo Geo CD. This is the US version, hence the name Karnov's Revenge. For a Neo CD fighter, the loading isn't too bad. There is a lengthy initial load and about 10 seconds load between opponents, but that's about it. As was customary with Neo CD games, this comes with an arranged soundtrack that some may like while others will prefer the original music from the arcade game. As far as animation goes, this seems to be on par with the arcade original. What is funny though, I came across this odd glitch where my character would just use the CPU's voice samples. How about that for odd? I left it in for a laugh. Rootable Games ported Fighters History Dynamite to the Saturn on July 4th, 1997. And boy, what a fantastic port this is! The game makes use of the Saturn's RAM cartridge, 1 megabit or 4 megabit, and does have a pretty long initial load, but once that initial load is over, there's no more noticeable loading. This is way up there with Capcom's efforts. I'm playing this on a real Saturn using the 4 megabit RAM cartridge, and I swear that I have not edited any of the between match sections. 
they really are just as instant as the Neo Geo Arcade version. Now you may think that the game is missing a load of animation or backgrounds, or even suffers from really low quality voices. Nope, it's all here. Well, there may be one or two frames of background or character animation missing, but can you notice? We also get all the interchanging backgrounds between rounds with no loading. This truly is an excellent port that just keeps giving. We also get the MBS music and the Neo CD music. Plus, we can play the Japanese version or the Western Carnot's Revenge version. The Saturn really kicks ass with its 2D fighters. <laughs> Now before we take a look at all versions running side by side, let's just check out the difference in loading between the Saturn and the Neo CD. And let's take a look at all versions of Fighters History Dynamite running side by side. 